What's up, everybody? Here we are with another episode of Matt Chat Live, and I'm coming to you. Uh, well, I'm coming to you. I'm in a studio somewhere, but I'm not alone today. I got somebody with me today. I'm pretty excited. This is one of the first times I've ever had somebody else with me somewhere else. And uh, his name is Elio. So we're going to talk about Elio in just a minute. But this is a live edition of Matt Chat Live and our new day, new time. We are now Wednesdays, 5 p.m. Eastern, which makes it 2 p.m. Pacific. And for my friends out there in Australia, it's 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. We're talking to you in the future. You're in the future right now. I guess I'm living in the past. I've been told that sometimes. We're going to talk about that a little bit today. We're going to talk about some great things coming up and uh, talk about another show I've got coming up right after this one called Let's Get Naked. That's some things we'll talk about today. And I've got eight shows ready to air. I'm going to tell you about some cool people that I can't wait to tell you about. But I'm so excited to share some news with you about our new uh, our new layout here, our new platform, our new opportunity to do some things in ways I haven't been able to do before. And I'm super, super stoked to be able to share that with you. For those of you that have been following me uh, for at least a minute or two, you'll know that the series that I have been doing of late is based on trauma. And I've kept that series going for a while because we've had so much engagement and interaction with other people that have been re re responding in reference to the trauma, trauma in their own lives or for things they've been experiencing and wanting to learn about trauma for others, right? And maybe some of you know, that could be PTSD. It could be a horrific scenario that may have happened when you were a child. It could be uh, marital issues. Uh, it could be something you saw that was bad. I mean, there's all kinds of things that trauma is. And it's something that really gets into your body, like into your whole nervous system, your brain, uh, your cells. And it's way more than just a thought. It is something that gets hold of you, right? So I've been talking about how to get released from some of those things in your life, how to get some help. We've talked about EMDR, EFT, uh, all kinds of other modalities. And if you'd like to find some more information about my trauma series, just feel free to reach out to me, DM me here at LinkedIn. If you're watching today, hello, everybody on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook today, you can message me there as well. Today we are uh, broadcasting to you too our friends at LinkedIn, as well as my friends over there on Facebook. And this will also be going out to everybody in podcast world. So everybody that's on iTunes and Spotify and all those other places, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But the audio version will be out a little bit later than the uh, video version here today, but you'll be getting it soon. So thanks for being with us here today at Matt Chat Live. And I'm super excited again, as I mentioned, to share with you some of the great things that we've got coming up. I'm, I'm really excited about the show that comes afterwards. Um, we'll talk about Let's Get Naked. All right. So if you haven't haven't you had a chance to come to Let's Get Naked? You're thinking, what in the world are you talking about, Matt? Right? First of all, it's on Clubhouse. All right, so Clubhouse is a, thank you very much. Thank you, Leo. Clubhouse is an all audio platform. So the show's Let's Get Naked on an audio platform. All right, got that part right. Okay, so Let's Get Naked is a show about people who are living in the social media world, right? People that are living for a, working for a living in the social media world. So it could be professionals, coaches, consultants, uh, people in the finance industry, real estate. I mean, there's so many different industries, right? Or people that just are marketers making their living in, in social media. So a lot of times people in social media have issues with things. No. People have issues in social media? Yeah, they do, right? Like imposter syndrome. Um, fear, doubt, lack, like competition. You're worried about keeping up with the other guy. Somebody else does this. They got this many likes, this many followers, and that's where you want to go to. And when they get a couple more than you, you get angry and you're like, I want to do that, right? All these things that go on in some people's lives. Uh, that's what Let's Get Naked is all about. We've got people that come on there that are some fantastic individuals who have been through so many things in their lives and careers and also online. And we share some of those things. It's a place where you can come and really strip everything off, get naked, and be the real you, right? So if there are those issues where you're going to say, you know, my profile picture, that's actually from 12 years ago and 50 pounds ago. And it's not really what I like, look like anymore, but I put that one on there because I didn't want people to think I was fat and ugly. All right. Well, let's just talk about real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to be able to be real and transparent. Everybody talks about transparency, authentic authenticity, right? And you got all these fake pictures up there and all these things you say sometimes about yourself that isn't actually legit, not really the truth. Um, we talk about that on Let's Get Naked. And we talk about how to get around it, how to um, how to say the truth 
how to feel confident in that truth, how to feel good about you. That's what it really comes down to. So that's Let's Get Naked on Clubhouse at uh, 7 p.m. tonight. That's 4 uh, Pacific and 11 a.m. Thursday tomorrow, in uh, which is now today in Australia. 11 p.m. tomorrow is today. Is now is tomorrow is, yeah. So 7 p.m. Eastern. That's what time it is. That's what time it be. All right. So uh, we got some some other things I want to talk to you about. Uh, I've got I want to bring on uh, my friend Elio, who is joining me here today live on Matt Chat Live. And uh, this is our first time working together and we have a chance to do some some fun things. And I want to be able to do more as time progresses. Right. But this show today is just kind of chillax. We're just laying back and going to lay out a few things about what the, you can expect in the new Matt Chat Lives. And uh, now I have an opportunity to do some things that I've really been wanting to do because I haven't had the time to do it because I have, don't have more than two hands. Uh, so to be able to have four hands right now is very helpful. And I'm very, very grateful uh, for Elio, for him being here and for uh, for being a part of what we've got going on here at Matt Chat Live. So Elio, if you want to come on to the screen, my brother, come on and say hello. Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. I am super excited. I am fired up to be at Matt Chat Live today. <laughs> yeah. I got my hat on honor Elio today. I got my hat going on Let's today. Hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Elio is awesome. So, Elio does so many things in his life. I'm, I'm a musician, a passionate, passionate musician, and Elio is a musician as well. That's probably why we're all hyped up and having some fun. But uh, Elio does so many things. So, instead of me telling you all the stuff he does, he can tell you even better. So, either kind of give us a background who you are, what you do, and, and why you're doing what you're doing right now. Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much, Matt, for giving me the opportunity to be here with you today. I am a classical train musician that came from Cuba. You can you can tell, right? I am Cuba, one hundred percent. Thought it might have been New Jersey or something. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, I am Cuban like Cuban cigars. So, um, <laughs> so I am a classical train musician that came only nine years ago from my country. I did it. Wow. I came with no English, no, no nothing. I came just pursuing the dream of uh, building a life with the love of my life. My wife, uh, actually, is still my wife, and we met when we were like, you know, we were in actually in, in high school. In high school, yeah, in high school. But a little, eleven years old. That's high school, Matt, right? Eleven, my junior high school, probably right. Well, Middle school. Well, yeah, middle school. Yeah, actually, middle school. So basically, we met when we were uh, when we were in middle school, and we were like sweethearts and all of that. And and she came first, and then she brought me afterwards. Uh, so long story short, uh, after I graduated from the National Conservatory in Cuba, uh, National Conservatory uh, um, of, of Music in, in the specialties of percussion and piano, I came, I got here, and again, no English, nothing, just you know, a, a bag full of. Dreams dreams and goals and here I am now I have launched uh, multiple businesses um, I, I, right now I still have my entertainment business I have been blessed to be around this beautiful country for over 20 states working with multiple producers but I always wanted to also produce on the digital world I will say in the media world so now uh, like Couple years, a few years ago, we launched the Fiesta Media, and it's been super successful. And we are so happy to be boosting brands around the world until this day. That's amazing. So that's just amazing, Elio. So nine years ago, you're in Cuba, Cuba. You're in Cuba nine years ago, and here you are. Well, he's in Florida right now, folks. You're in Florida now, and nine years from nothing to several businesses. Here we are on LinkedIn. You didn't know a lick of English. You're talking, you're doing, you're jamming, you're having good. That's amazing, Elio. So you're telling me that it's possible to actually find work and make a living in the United States of America? Oh my goodness, it is it is more than possible. I remember that people used to uh, go and visit Cuba and they used to say, oh, uh, living in the United States is so hard. I mean, there is uh, there is no work, there is nothing to do. It's like, when I got here, I was like, what are you talking about? There is uh, many opportunities here. There is an entire horizon of, of things that you can do and you can explore and to keep growing. Uh, and, and, you know, I am passionate, man. Uh, just living 
in this country, in this side of the world, it is a blessing. So waking up every day, just being grateful for that, for having the opportunity to live in this side of the world, it is very important, you know, especially to me coming from a communist country, from a country yeah. that doesn't allow you to do and to be who you want to be and to do what you want to do. So, yeah, man, it is possible that you can live your dreams and your goals here. Yeah, that's amazing. I agree. And I think the other thing amazes me, it was nine years ago. So nine years ago, it still wasn't as I mean, I know Obama did a couple of things with Cuba. And uh, for me, I was actually most excited about Cuban cigars about that moment. But that's that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> however, yeah. however, it's a big deal. I mean, it's much bigger deal to you than Cuban cigars. I mean, that's 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 nothing compared to your life and what you have now. But uh, I don't. How is it possible for you back then? It wasn't as easy. Well, it's still not easy now. But I mean, it was. It's easier now. But back then, it was not easy to do anything to leave Cuba to come to the United States of America. So, I mean, how is that possible for you even to be able to get here? And and what did you do when you showed up? You just, did you know anybody at all? Or did you, how that work? Well, actually, I came uh, through a visa fiance. Uh, so, basically, my wife, at that time, it was my girlfriend. She was an American citizen because she came with 13. And then she brought me here on a um, fiance visa. And from there, I didn't have the permanent resident, but I had the opportunity to, when I came, I already had the, a permit to work, you know, like a work permit. So immediately the first week that I got here, I started washing dishes at a restaurant, saving money to, uh, and actually this is a very funny story, uh, Matt, because I, 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 I asked this friend, that a guy that I just met uh, by the name of uh, Emilio, he was a guy from Brazil, Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? And he was like, no, I mean, nothing. I mean, I have school, this and that. What are you asking? Well, I need you to take me and go restaurant by restaurant, place by place to ask for work. To ask, you know, I wanted to work. And he was like, but you just got here last night. Aren't you tired? I was like, it doesn't matter, man. I just want to work, you know. Um, and, and, honest, and I promise, I didn't know the system. I didn't speak any English at all. And then he said, okay, I am going to help you to do that. So long story short, we, we, we got into this market, uh, Latin market la, called La Aurora. And then the owner was there and said, like, hey, I have a job for you. And I don't know if you're going to like it or not, but, you know, call me in two days because we have a position. I said, this washer uh, may be available. So since I didn't know any English, this washer to me sounds very important. It was like, hey, I was the... <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, right. <laughs> so I got, I was, I was pumped. I was like, I got home. I was like, hey, 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 sweetie, you know, I, uh, I'm going to be at this washer at Sabor restaurant. And she would look at me and say, like, well, that's, that's cool. Uh, congratulations, you know. But she was, she didn't say. I was excited as I was, and then <laughs> and then I found out afterwards. I found out why, <laughs> you know. Um, so, so that's a funny story there. And then when I when I I show, I showed up at the restaurant, and when I I learned, I was just learning that the this washing was just washing dishes. And then the GM of the restaurant, I remember, was like, are you sure you want this position? Because we just opened up. Everybody, this is the fever of the restaurant. We have line of, like a line of 500 people to get into the restaurant. It's like a mountain of dishes to watch. And every single person that comes from this door, they, they leave from the other door. Do you really <laughs> want to do this? And I said, like, I'm telling you, I need the job. Give me the opportunity, and I am going to disappoint you. And I, I honestly, I spent like four months washing dishes. After that, I went to uh, start cooking. I didn't know how to cook. I've been a musician my entire life. And then I ended up, after a year and a half, being the right hand of the chef and working with the chef and the South Chef. And we went to competitions. We did so many things. But after wow. that, yeah, but after that, you know, I, I because in the meantime, my vision and my dreams and my goals, I, I kept them here. It wasn't like I forgot about them. I kept them here. So I started networking, learning people, playing, performing outside, asking, making phone calls, doing everything that I had to do to, to put myself and my name out there. And I started learning about this thing of YouTube. I think we didn't even have Facebook, but then it was like MySpace, something like that. Well, yeah. anyways, um, I was learning about all of this. And, and, and man, after a while, Something happened that I was supposed to go to a church to uh, to teach, 
And then uh, I left, and then I left my the restaurant, my full time job, to go to teach at this church full time. Whatever it was about music, I just wanted to do it. And anything like it was kind of like the same number that I was making, the same income. And then when I do that, uh, Matt, the the uh, the guy called me, the pastor called me and say, hey, we don't we couldn't actually raise the funds to pay you uh, for six months and all of that. So you know what we we're gonna pay your bills for a couple of months. And I was like, but that's not how I want to live. Well, Matt, I went to Guitar Center and I started teaching there and I started actually promoting myself as a private teacher. And I went from zero to 32 students. In wow. A year. Yeah, in, in a couple of months. And I spent like a year doing that. And after that, I started playing with Chuchito Valdez, a war-winning war Grammy artist. And I yeah. started touring. And I... And it's been so much after that. And then I realized I met this amazing marketing branding guy that he said, hey, Elio, you know, you, you, got, you got what it takes to be your own brand because you can sing, you can dance, you do so many things. You can DJ and play percussion at the same time. So I started doing that and it's been so successful onto this day. So yeah, that's kind of like long story short. That just, no, it's amazing to me how fast i mean i know it's been a lot because that's a lot of dishes bro that's a lot of dishes but, <laughs> <laughs> but that was really a fast progression for a guy who's never been to the united states ever didn't even know how to speak it uh to from there to nine years that little journey uh, is amazing to be able to do that not to mention obviously guitars and obviously i'm a musician i owned a music store and i had teachers and we had hundreds of students and I know what a teacher could could make potentially if they paid attention to their schedule and, and they booked clients right. You know, you can do very well as a music teacher. And uh, during that period of time, not only were you doing that, you got great ups and networks for people that were musicians and people you go play with and do things with because you're talking to musicians all day long, right? So it just kept opening doors, opening doors, and you kept walking through them. The whole time what you said was most important as you kept that vision. So although you were not called to be a dishwasher, right? You weren't called to do the little things that you were doing. You kept your calling at the front of your mind, your heart and your brain. And you just did what you had to do to get where you needed to be. And now you're in a place like you weren't even sure where you were going to be at. And now you're in a whole new area of life and a whole big opportunity. And I've seen some videos of you and pictures of you. You got all kinds of stuff. You got crowds with uh, full crowds of people out there in front of you while you're playing. I mean, really, that's not going to happen where you're at in Cuba, did it? Yeah, I mean, I used to play in Cuba for a lot of people and all of that. But, you know, again, I come from a country that... It is a beautiful country as a country. Yeah, we have beautiful people. I love my culture and my people, of course. But, you know, man, my government is the worst. <laughs> so it doesn't allow you to, to, to live your dreams, you know. Because one yeah. thing is when you are in the business and another thing is when the business is in you. And when you are actually able to live, you live your dreams every day. When you wake, the alarm, the alarm goes off and you are happy about what you're going to do. You know, I am happy to, 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 and, and you know what is, I get so passionate about networking because you get to meet people like you, like, 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 put the, like all the, the friends, like all the people that we have in common and it is, and it gets this amazing world, you know, that you yeah. start surround, surrounding yourself with all this, what we call OQP, only quality people. And I got to tell you, Matt, about that point, it wasn't easy. You know, and it is, it wasn't easy. Now it is easier because whatever happened, I already have the core values and I know that I, I got what it takes to do it. But at the very beginning, without English, without people, and people, people telling me, hey, you got to move to LA, to Vegas, to a bigger city, whatever, because we don't have nothing here for you. And my, uh, my, in my, my, in my mind, I was like, well, if there is nothing here for me, maybe I can't even, I can create it. And that yeah, was yeah. My, I think that there's was, nothing here because there's no competition. I might as well start something. Yes. So I can be actually the roots of something even bigger. And I am, I mean, humbly, I can tell you that's what happened. We didn't have so many things, even with the Fiesta Media. Uh, we now have a show that's called the Nonprofit Report, and we are actually promoting. And uh, the Nonprofit Report, our tagline is bringing hope and awareness because you don't, you you can raise funds for a, you can raise money 
if for an organization that people, they don't, they don't even know they exist. So we start creating platforms for the business community, for, the, for nonprofits, doing so many things until this day. And now we are proud to be uh, collaborating with you in this uh, brand new production that is going to be going live every, every week. So it is exciting yeah, times. Excited. Exciting it is times. exciting. I'm, I'm excited too, brother. I mean, I'm so glad we met. And uh, I don't believe in coincidence at all. I think God has his hand on all, all things. And I'm glad that he introduced us together. And there's, I want to talk more about Fiesta Media. I want to talk more about you. Um, but I do want to give a second to, to let folks know that uh, a new opportunity that we had at Matt Chat Live now is ability for people to sponsor the show, right? So now we have an opportunity across all the platforms that we're on for you to partner with Matt Chat Live, bringing all kinds of people like Elio's story. That's an incredible inspirational story when people feel, I know so many people on LinkedIn that I speak to as a coach and a consultant. Uh, I get DMs all the time about people that are desperate for work. And just a few things that Elio said just a moment ago can prove that no matter where you're at, you can do something, right? And I know there's some horrible places in this world, um, but there are some things you can do where you're at until you get where you want to be. And that's that's been proved by this man here uh, by the name of Elio. But if you'd like to be a sponsor here at Matt Chat Live, it's completely possible. Um, you can talk to us um, offline on that. You can DM me uh, here at LinkedIn or, or message me at Facebook, or you can go to my website at mattcrump.tv. And there's a place there where you can send me some information. Uh, would love to talk to you about sponsoring uh, the show. So I, I've got a, a sponsor that I want to talk about today uh, besides Fiesta Media, which is a, a definitely a sponsor of the show. Uh, and that is a, a company called Encapsulator. And in their website is encapsulator.io. So Encapsulator is owned by a man by the name of Danny Shannon. And Danny Shannon lives in Australia. He's an amazing man in Australia. Uh, Danny has... Uh, Dealt with, he's had an interesting life. He had a difficult life. He uh, w was very addicted to drugs and, and he had a really hard time with uh, a lot of some of the bad drugs. Don't have to glorify all the drugs. He just had a really bad time with drugs. He had a hard, hard life. And some things really turned around for him. He was able to, to make some things happen in his life and he changed and he was, um, he, he's no longer a drug addict. As a matter of fact, now that he's clean and he's gone through the programs and the steps, the place that the very place that he went to uh, to receive the help that he needed during his time of drug addiction is the very place where he is working at now. He is now there to help other people that are going through what they go through in their lives, trying to transition from the place of drug addiction and alcoholism to a productive, clean life. And it's amazing what he's able to do. And in the midst of that time, Danny was always looking for a way that people could find some way to catalog their journey, some way to share with other people the steps from when they were in a bad place to when they were in a good place. And he created something that was really cool, which is called Encapsulator, right? It's E-N-C-A-P, N-C-A-P, S-U-L-A-T-O-R, Encapsulator.io is his website. Um, I think, do you have the logo there, the little E thing that we have there? I don't know if you, if you have it in there today or not, if it's still in the other file, but if not, we'll make sure we have it at the end of the show. We'll put it in there, but it's Encapsulator.io. So when you go to an Encapsulator, it is a, a time capsule of videos. It's a video time capsule. So when you get an account at Encapsulator, you can create the account and you're able to speak to your future self. And there's many ways you get to do this. Now you come on, I've done it a few times. I've done it with my son. I've got a few other videos in there that I've done. And you can come in there, for example, maybe you're starting off as uh, a drug addict, but you're ready to make a change. So you come into the video, go, hi, my name's Matt. I'm, I want to tell myself that I feel horrible right now. My life sucks. Uh, I don't have any money. I'm broke. I'm desperate. My family doesn't love me. My friends don't love me anymore. Nobody's around me. That's just myself. And I want to make a difference. I want to make a change. And I want to come back one day. And I'm hoping that maybe my life can be better and I can make a difference in people's lives, right? You do the video. You say what you're going to say. And then it gets sealed into a time vault. It gets sealed for a period of time. You choose the time that it gets sealed. And it's not able to be opened until that time. Right. So then when that time comes and it, it can be opened, you can open up that video and you sit there and watch it. So I've seen videos of people that were specifically with Danny at, his, uh, at the rehab center that were completely different people. And they'd sit there and he'd turn on that video and open their time capsule and they would see somebody they didn't even recognize. 
and tears would flow from people that would see the difference that happened in their lives. It was amazing to see the transformations, but it's just one way to catalog that. There's ways that you can use that inside of your business, that you can use it with uh, employees and staff. There's ways you can scale and plan to do things in your own life and your own business and career and set standards for yourself and ensure that you're doing that by using the time vault to set those markers for yourself and make sure you're keeping up with where you're supposed to be. There's so many different ways. Right now, Danny's actually working with um, some psychiatrists and doctors that have been examining what he has and they're creating uh, systems and programs using his platform to help people in the world, which is amazing. So you can go to encapsulator.io and you can get your own account today, which is absolutely amazing. I know I've got a discount code somewhere. I'm sure Danny's going to tell me what it is. I'll have that in the notes afterwards because I, I, uh, I wasn't planning on going this far into it, but I did want to tell you that today because I'm super excited about what he does. And you can find Danny on LinkedIn as well. Danny A. Shannon is his name on LinkedIn. And of course, the website encapsulator.io. We'll have that uh, available for you here a little bit later um, after the show in the notes. So you can, you can click on the link and go to it. But you make sure you want to do that. So um, every every time we do a show, then Elio, on, uh, on our Wednesdays, when we do a spotlight for our, our, our sponsors, We'll be able to show their video or their logo or whatever during that period of time and share with those things and their website will pop up. This is our first time together. We're hanging out, having a good time today, just kind of giving people an idea what we're doing. Um, but I would love to be able to, to promote your business. I'd love to be able to tell people what you do. I'm passionate about stories. Like, you know, I just told you something about Danny's story. I could have just talked to you about a video platform called Encapsulator IO, but I love Danny and I love his business and I love his heart. I want to tell you about it because I want you to go check it out, right? I want to know what's, what that is. It's the same thing I'd like to know about the guy that's over here, here. Oh, there it is, here. No. <laughs> I got to go backwards. I keep forgetting, got to go backwards. Um, Elio, his business, uh, you know a little bit about uh, what he's done and he did create something called Fiesta Media. And let's just get real, folks. In today's world, a lot of folks say they've got studios and this, that, and the other, and it's like you know a closet in the house with some with some foam boards, you know, taped to the wall and a couple of lights, right? Um, but that's not the case. Not the case in this situation. This man who came from another country nine years ago now has a thriving business and is able to do some great things, and not just in in his town there in Florida. He does stuff around the world. So if you could tell folks a little bit about uh, Fiesta Media and what you do and what you can offer to people, that would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, Fiesta Media, we specialize in producing podcasts and talk shows all around the world. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can be in Florida or you can be in China or you can be whatever. Um, we actually were able to produce uh, a custom show for our clients, and, uh, and and it's very easy. Our main goal is that the client doesn't have to worry about anything else but just sharing uh, slides and any graphic with us so, you know, so they can have, you know, a show like, like yours or like any type of show, honestly. And we can go to multiple platforms at the same time, so we can stream simultaneously. So we consider ourselves like a live streaming agency that just want to make an impact and want to help the business I would say the uh, international business community grow, especially in times where it is crucial your online presence because if you really want to boost your brand and grow and expand the vision of your product, all you need to do is to have a great message and a great yeah. product. If you believe that you if you believe within yourself that you have that, that you possess a great product reach out to the Fiesta Media because we're going to take it to the next level for sure. Yeah, no doubt. And obviously today, you know, my behinds the scene guy for Matt Chat Live is right here with me. So uh, <laughs> most cases, yeah, when I have a full show and I've got other people that we're interviewing and have a big show, most of the times you won't even – you won't even know that he's in the background, you know, flipping all the switches and doing everything that he'll be doing. But I want everybody to have a chance to meet him today, know who he is. And and we'll have all kinds of things moving and happening on the next shows. But today it's just a chance for us to hang out kind of behind the scenes and uh, be ready to launch into the rest of what we have. Did you have uh, something that you wanted to pull up to show folks? Didn't you have a slide or did you have the site you wanted to show people? Can you pull that uh, up? We, we don't have it. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can pull something up before we go. All right, we'll talk about it. Hey, guys, what happened to that website? You're fired. All right, no problem. <laughs> we, we took care of them. We'll take care. We'll get somebody else for the next time, whoever that was. I don't know who that was. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, 
what is the website that they can go to? It's pretty simple, huh? Yeah, it is the Fiesta, the FiestaMedia.com. Um, let me see if I can actually pull something here. But basically, the Fiesta Media, um, you know, well. It's the word the, T H E, the FiestaMedia.com. Yeah, yeah, yes. the FiestaMedia.com. Yeah, this yeah. is, uh, this is, you know, the first time. And I basically, we just want to showcase your followers how it's going to look. But uh, for next week, we promise that we're going to have all the sponsors up and we're going to actually have a whole segment created for them so we can actually give them the, the, uh, the attention and the gratitude that they deserve. Yeah, that's right. I just, uh, Danny's probably going to be surprised when he finds out I talked about him today. So we'll, uh, we'll do that again. But I just wanted to bring somebody up for an, an example today with Danny and, and the Encapsulator. So, um, man, I also want to talk about a few other things that are getting ready to happen. Um, we have uh, a bunch of shows that I've already got recorded and some really incredible people. And uh, I'm going to name off a few of those folks for you so you know who is getting ready to uh, show, join me on the show. And it's a really cool thing. Like, I'm going to be able to talk to you about episodes I've got from a CEO by the name of Angel to a pole dancer by the name of Ava. That's right. Ava and Angel, CEO to pole dancer. I got a pole dancer coming up on Matt Chat Live on one of the next episodes. And what in the world? <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, it is it is uh it is it is pole dancing, but it is not what you think. It is gonna be it's actually it's a really, really fantastic episode, and you'll definitely want to tune in to hear what Ava has to say about her passion with pole dancing for sure. I was I was happy to have her on the show. Um, I've got a friend by the name of Brian, Brian ba Bashan Bashan, I always say his name wrong. He lives in Canada and he's got a fantastic business up there. He's a, a former priest. And now he has his own marketing company, marketing agency. He's got an incredible life. He went from priesthood to uh, to working in New York, from Boston to New York to Canada. Amazing story. Dr. Daniel Ford is on one of our other shows coming up, and he is actually a doctor of cybersecurity. Did you even know there was such a thing, Dr. Cybersecurity? His name is <laughs> Daniel Ford, and uh, he's actually got a, a strong passion about people. He loves coaching. But he also loves technology, and that's one of the reasons why he's a big tech geek and now a doctor in tech geekism. Maybe I just made that up. He's a tech geeker. All right, I got another guy's name, uh, Talik Bortz. Uh, Talik Bortz, and he is um, first generation American as well. He comes from Russia, and he has uh, created a nonprofit organization that we're going to talk about. His nonprofit organization first started making uh, face masks during the the pandemic, and they were using. Um, sports jerseys and sports paraphernalia. And he lives in New York, and New York Rangers is their hockey team that he loves, this big New York Rangers hockey fan there. So they were making all these things for New York Rangers, and actually the New York Rangers found out about it, picked him up, and they started making fast uh, face masks for the New York Rangers. They got on the map with that, and as they started doing that, it transitioned to a place where now they are actually um, getting uh, donations and sending them out and they're getting all kinds of sports equipment and being able to give them to other people that don't have it and are in need in school. A lot of kids that can't afford their sports equipment are now getting it through his nonprofit organization, which he plans to expand to a whole lot of other ways. We're going to talk about that when we talk to Tolik on one of the other shows coming up here with Matt Chat Live. Of course, Ava, my friend Ava, the pole dancer. We're going to find out about her and her passion, where she's come from. and her. She's a software. She works in a software company. But um, her side gig is uh, pole dancing. So I'm thinking, you think you're going to find some gal at software companies, kind of a little geeky girl by day. But at night, uh-uh, Ava's on a pole, buddy. We're going to talk about Ava on the pole. <laughs> All right. And then I've got Susan P. Tang coming up. She's a fantastic gal. She is a coach, and um, she's very passionate about working with uh, single moms and a lot of teenagers. And she is able to do um, work with folks that um, – some, there's a lot of different price points when it comes down to coaching and consulting. And some people are high ticket and some people are not so high ticket. And uh, with, with Susan, she comes from a past where she knows what it's like to be a single mom and having to struggle to pay the bills and trying to do good things for your kids. So she keeps a price point low because she's very passionate about reaching the people that she reaches. And she's got a fantastic story. Jason Osborne, my friend Jason, he is in, um, in the U.K., 
originally from the United States, but he's been in the UK for years and years and years. And he has a marketing company where he works with folks to um, to help expand their brands, their marketing, um, all the stuff he does with, with them through that. He's got a fantastic program to scale people on LinkedIn. And uh, specifically on LinkedIn is one of his biggest things. And that's uh, going to be a great episode there. Um, Angel Rebo, I talked to you just about him a moment ago. He is a CEO confidant. Uh, what is that? Well, I mean, he's a confidant to CEOs. It turns out that uh, through his life and experiences of things that he's been able to do, he's not originally from America. He's originally from, uh, man, I'm doing so good. And I just forgot. He's, I think it's Brazil. You brought that up earlier. I think it might've been Brazil or somewhere. He's from a, a, a Latin company, uh, a Latin company, Latin country, uh, somewhere, South America, South America. Anyway, down south. He's down south, speaks that Spanish language, you know, one of them guys. And he's uh, from there, but now he's in the United States. And he's been able to do some amazing work with some amazing people and really help a lot of CEOs that uh, in this world have uh, difficulties that most people don't realize. A lot of pressure on CEOs. And a lot of times they don't have somebody to talk to. And the last thing you want to do is make everybody think that the boss has got problems. Now everybody's going to think, oh, my God, the business is going to fail because the boss got some problems, right? It's a tough place to be. And uh, people, people need help in that position. And it's very hard for a lot of people to ask for help. But that's uh, something that Angel is uh, specifically noted for. And he has been able to deal with a lot of people in Fortune 500 businesses and whatnot. So he does fantastic there. And uh, the last person I'll talk about now is a person by the name of Ian Price Murphy. She's a bookkeeper. Yeah, that sounds exciting, right? <laughs> That's really exciting, right? So that is what's cool about her is from a guy like myself having owned uh, several businesses, uh, brick and mortar, and of course, on the online world as well. Um, doing your books is not fun. Nothing nobody wants to do. And uh, you sometimes you don't know if, one, the software you're using is any good and you're doing it right. Two, the bookkeeper you have, I guess they're doing their job right because they said they know what they're doing and they can say stuff to me that I don't know what they're saying and I haven't gone to jail yet, so they must be okay, right? And then, but I'm still broke, so I don't know what's going on. Well, somebody like you, she comes in. Yes, thank you very much. She comes in and she's able to, um, to translate what's going on. She's able to say, this is what's happening in your business. And this is what this means. This is what that means. And this is how we can make things better. Sometimes they, made it, they need a bookkeeper. She can do that. Sometimes they need somebody to explain things and find ways to make things better. Then she does that as well. So she's very passionate about numbers. She's very passionate about putting things together that make sense. And uh, she's on one of the upcoming episodes of Matt Chat Live too. So... <gasps> <sighs> that's eight shows I just talked to you about with eight different amazing people that will be coming to Matt Chat Live uh, starting next week. We're going to start rolling these things out here, and we're going to have some really fun time here when we do our live show at 5 p.m. Uh, like we are right now. Whoa. All right. So there's a lot of stuff right there. Isn't that a lot? You know? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad that you're with me, buddy, because that means I have, a lot of, I have more time to talk to people and less time I have to play around with doing all the kind of stuff. You get to do that. That's going to be a blast. You oh, might change yeah. your mind. I, mean, I don't know if I want to do this for you anymore. you got too much going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is going to be fun. I enjoy that. Yeah, it is going to be fun. We're going to have a blast. And uh, folks, if you get a chance, I know a lot of folks are going to be watching this through a replay. And thank you for everybody that's on the replay out there. Hashtag replay. Um, please do share the show with folks. Let them know that we're here. And if you're interested in, uh, in sharing something about yourself, your business, um, who you are, what you're doing, that you're passionate about for sure, but you know can make a difference in somebody else's life, I wanna to talk to people about it. I want people to know who you are and what you do. And you'll have the opportunity to share with people things that um, can make a difference in their life. So you're welcome to come to Matt Chat Live anytime. Just give us a shout. You can visit me at matttrump.tv. You can hit me up at LinkedIn and, and uh, hit my DM box over there and over at Facebook. You can hit my message box over there and hit me up there too. And I'd be happy to get back with you and we can talk about scheduling the time for you to be here at Net Chat Live. I do have several other shows. Uh, so the one that's coming right after this one, if you're on Clubhouse, I talked about it on the top of the show, is called Let's Get Naked. And Let's Get Naked is definitely a show that means a whole lot more than the three words I just told you about. But uh, it's a place where you can find hope, uh, freedom, a place where you can find ways to overcome lack, doubt, imposter syndrome, uh, competition, all those types of things that cause issues in people's lives to make them feel less than 
to feel as if you're not able to accomplish something because you're not good enough, here's the deal. You're good enough because there's nobody better than you being you, right? So don't try to be somebody <laughs> else. There's no sense in trying to be somebody else. Be yourself. And when you're yourself, that's when things can change. That's when things make a difference. I mean, you heard on the top of the show from this incredible man sitting right next to me that had a dream, had a vision, was able to lead his country. He left family and friends. He left what he knew and came to someplace else different. And he was willing to be a incredible, certified executive dishwasher when he first came here to the United States of America <laughs> and was willing to do it. He did the work that he had to do. Now the man's already been to school. He's a classically trained musician. He's got hands that are amazing from God and he was using them to wash dishes, right? So we got to start somewhere, folks. There's times where you're going to have to be humble. You're going to have to do what you have to do, but never let the dream die. And the other thing is don't let it just stay a dream. You know, you got to turn dreams to reality. And that means you have to do something about it. And look at Elio today, what he's been able to do. And he's not even finished yet. I think he's just getting started. He's just ramping it up right now. So, uh, Elio, before we go, is there anything you'd like to tell folks today? I mean, I would like to tell anybody that is watching right now that make sure that you surround yourself with OQP. Only quality people, people that they believe in dreams and goals, that people that they can hold you accountable because it may appear as a solo act, but honestly, it takes teamwork because I remember that, that, that you know, um, Michael Jordan won so many championships, but he never won ever, just one cha championship without Phil Jackson and like Muhammad Ali without, you know, his coach so make sure you get a coach make sure you surround yourself with the right environment with the right people make sure you tune in every Wednesday to watch Matt chat live make sure you follow people that they can encourage you to get to the next level because I gotta tell you being negative is easy but if you do what is easy your life will be hard okay so make sure you are doing what is hard every single day and you follow your dreams and you follow your goals and regardless of who say what, you keep going. Do not give up, ever. That's right. So good, thank you, my friend. And guys, thanks again so much for hanging out with us here. And just, I wanna echo what he just said and let you know, bottom line, there's one thing you can do to be successful. Believe you can do it. If you believe, it can happen. But if you don't, it's not gonna work out. Believe, there's a hard time we've got, but 2021, it's gonna be a different place, not just because people are saying, oh, it's gonna be a different year. It's gonna be different because you're gonna make it different. You're gonna make it different, right? Don't accept anything less than the best in your life. Let's keep moving forward. Keep the pedal to the floor. And we'll see you the next time on the next episode, Wednesday, 5 p.m., same same Matt time, same Matt channel, right here. We'll see you next time at Matt Chat Live. Thanks, everybody. Awesome.